castles are so cool in Romania! What's up, P-Nation? So today is the second day of our Romanian road trip. We are starting off here in Brasov, but we are driving one hour south to Peles Castle. Peles Castle is apparently the most fairy tale castle in all of Romania. We are so excited to be going. Let's go. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> Like that one hour later we made it to the castle we just parked at the bottom of the hill and now we gotta walk up this hill slash mountain to get to it hopefully it's not too far you guys ready are you guys ready are you guys ready <gasps> behind chitty chitty bang bang <laughs> it's so pretty <laughs> chitty chitty bang bang was in not this country So technically, Helles Castle is a private residence. It was the summer home of some dignitary or government official or something like that. So technically, it's not a castle, but it is so cute. It looks like a castle that it's become this huge tourist attraction, and it's known as the like most fairy tale castle in Romania. Okay, so quick update, you guys don't know anything about this road trip. Apparently we're going to five castles total. It could be more than that, yeah. And of that, this is the best reserved castle that we're gonna see, and also one of the smallest, is that correct? Yes. Yes. It was only an hour outside of Brasov. The ride here was really nice. I would re definitely recommend it if you wanted to see like all the mountains and the yeah. snow. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. It is quite picturesque. <laughs> we really enjoyed it, but we love road trips, so. Right? Yeah, and I just can't <laughs> believe this is someone's private home. Like. Yeah. What? If I could make a private home in the castle, like, or in the mountains, in the castle. In the castle. If I could make my own private home, it would look just like this one. Because I would want to be a princess. Oh no, it's broken. And the mountains behind it. The roof is actually electric and it opens up sideways. So we just learned that the two crossbows right above the fireplace are the oldest pieces of weaponry in this entire place. This place is huge. There are probably like 300 swords alone in this entire gallery. I've never seen so many swords in my life. So in this like weapon room, the most impressive thing has to be this horse and rider armor. She said it weighs 100 kilos. I don't know how much that is. So if you know, you should comment how much 100 kilos is in pounds for me in the comment section below. secret door here. What? So she's like, look to your right. And she's like, you notice that there's no spaces between the books? This is a secret door. And it goes into like a secret 
I guess spiral staircase that takes you to the master bedroom. That's so cool. I'm in like Casper right now. such an old home and like I'm waiting for him to like come out and say hello and there's like so many things going on it's so much more intricate than I had ever expected it's like there's Casper so this is the music room apparently there are 800 stained glass windows that's crazy and it's absolutely beautiful but I was just thinking it's so dark in here I don't think I could live like this Now we're coming into the reception room, which I didn't know was a thing. I thought the biggest room in every palace was going to be like the dinner room, like the place where you actually eat dinner. But the reception room is actually one of the biggest, and I would say it's the most grand. There's a mirror where the painting reflects off the mirror, and it looks like you're like looking at the painting the right way, even though when you think about it, it's like really upside down. There's like so many different things in here. There's like two thrones, or I guess like a king and a queen. But you know, the room has that. This is just this is definitely my favorite room, and it has the Italian fireplace. whole chandelier's glass, right? Can you imagine fixing like this light bulb or that light bulb or just maybe this one over here? Like what if you screw it wrong and it just psh, the whole thing breaks. So this is the very first castle in all of Europe to have electricity. Crazy. I mean they built this thing for 40 years. So I guess those were a lot of improvements since they began from to when they ended, but still, central heating and electricity, but no Wi-Fi. There are 36 seats at this table. That is a big dinner party. Okay, and the weird part about this place is that they have like these Asian, I don't really know, like Turkish rooms, more like Turkish rooms. Oh no, and it's Asian like, inspired. Like for yeah. like hookah and tea from that place. Like this is crazy. It's super yeah. themed. I'm so confused. Well, it's where Asia meets Europe. I know, but I was like expecting a castle, like cold stone walls, right. you know, maybe some French influence, but nothing like this. It's like themed restaurants before themed restaurants. <laughs> Can you imagine how much fun it would be to grow up in a house that had its own theater? Like, as a little girl, me and my sister and my cousin would make shows and we'd sing and dance and like put on shows for our family members. This would be the ultimate experience as a child. It'd be so much fun. I don't know. You guys tell me I'm gonna get castled out. I might get castled out, but I hope I don't because this is really so impressive. All the castles I've been to in my past life before we did this whole like travel thing have not been this immaculate, like anything close to this. So this is something I could definitely get used to. But I did get templed out in Cambodia, so I hope I don't, but we'll see. That was absolutely amazing. Palace Castle exceeded all expectations. It was just like a fairy tale inside and out. I think this would be the perfect getaway for us in the summertime. <laughs> I think it could be our home. Anyways, <laughs> now we're gonna hop in the car, head one hour back to Brasnov and try and explore more. Brasnov. Brasnov. <laughs> So we had no idea that there were more castle-like buildings here on this property. Pelas Castle is obviously the biggest and the mm. best and like the most well-known. The baddest. And the baddest. But <laughs> you can go to all these other buildings too. like that we made it back to the bustling city we're gonna go get a brownie first and then he took it think it's like a brownie it's like a chocolate cake ball with rum in it rum's like a recurring thing we keep finding in Romania and I don't know why it's like a custard 
It's like an egg tart custard with cherries. Cherries, yeah. This one is this one's a winner. This was only three, so that's 75 cents, and yours was one. Ugh. Okay, so I got a Greek salad, and Leah got pizza. We have corn, ham, mushrooms, onions, olives, peppers, and that's it. Whew, I am so full. I don't even know if we're gonna make it to the old town. You think we can go to the old town? I think we can make it. Okay, we're gonna take it to the old town. <laughs> Just like that, our full day is coming to an end. We've made it to the old town of Brasnov, is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Walk, walking through the park, and we're about to go into the square and show you all the activity that's happening there. This is really like the most adorable big town you've ever been in. It is so cute. We're so happy to show you guys. So it's very interesting to find this statue of the Roman city of Rome slash the Roman Empire. And it's such a small town in Romania. Like it really gives you roots to where this place kind of started as a society. A big landmark here in Brasov is the black church behind us. Apparently it was burned down in the 17th century. Well, there was a fire, but it didn't burn down, but it made it black in color, and that's why it's called Black Church. Like I'm looking at this and it really, really, really looks like a Walt Disney World set or like a set at Hollywood. Like this isn't actually real. This is all just like put here. It has been such a good day. Checking out Palace Castle and also just the old town of Brasov. It's been absolutely magical. I cannot wait for all the other castles we're gonna visit on our seven day Romanian road trip. <laughs> Dun, dun. Okay. Cap Very interesting. There's a statue of Romulus and Remus. Good. <laughs> I don't even know. 